And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. It's a wild forecast ride. Let's get started. After 14 yesterday morning, temperatures rise tonight. 23 at 1 a.m., 31 by 8 in the morning. Wind out of the southeast picking up and increasing clouds around. So lows tonight, 19 to 24, but then rising after midnight. And then we transition to a little burst of spring. We've already got a marginal risk of severe weather south of Highway 28 down here in our southern counties. Uh, this is for Friday night between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. It wouldn't surprise me if this marginal risk is extended northward. Now, marginal risk on a scale of 1 to 5 for severe weather is a 1. It means isolated severe storms are possible. And this, uh, the main threat with this would be isolated severe gusts. The slight risk, or the 2 out of 5, is south of our area. This will likely be upgraded to a 3 out of 5, I think, and the next update that will be out tonight. But again, we'll watch and see. The potential is for this to be expanded northward a little bit. So let's dig in. Here's future cast increasing clouds tonight. Quite a few clouds around tomorrow. Late afternoon, evening, a few isolated showers cannot be ruled out. This is 730. Just a few random ones around here and there, and a few even tomorrow night. Now on Friday, a lot of clouds. Much of the day is dry, but then some showers and a few thunderstorms in the eve uh, late afternoon and evening, then a break, and then look around midnight Saturday morning or Friday night, no matter which way you look at it. This could very well be a little squall line of storms racing up from the southwest. You see that right there, and that's what's prompting right now the marginal risk of severe weather for the area. That little squall line moves on. Uh, we get a few snow showers on Saturday with a howling wind. Winds may gust around 50 miles an hour Saturday morning. And then after that, it gets a little tranquil. But believe it or not, another surge of spring comes in next week. This is a monster storm that could bring some severe weather by next Thursday and a blizzard to the plains. All right, here we go. This is tomorrow. A lot of cloudiness. The wind cranking up gusts 30 to 40 miles an hour by later on in the afternoon with a couple isolated showers, 46 by 5, and we'll hit our highs at 45 to 50 around 9 o'clock tomorrow night. Then on Friday, a wave of rainfall and a few thunderstorms are possible late in the day. 50s at that point, and the wind beginning to increase to gusts up around 30 miles an hour. But then Friday night, right around midnight, when that squall line is coming up from the southwest, High 60 to 64, and then on Saturday, a howling wind from the west northwest gusting to around 50 miles an hour and a few snow showers late morning to around midday, otherwise clearing temperatures falling into the 30s. And be aware of the Facebook Live right after this newscast as we detail the weather for the next couple of months. And then after that, cooler Sunday, Monday, but look at that warmth on Wednesday, another spurt of spring.